Hi, this is Ryan from cashflowinvestor.com.au and I wanted to quickly walk you guys through the advanced property calculator that I've created. Now currently this is a downloadable Excel document but in future it will move to a web-based calculator so you can do it from anywhere you are on whatever device you're on. This is it here, the advanced property calculator and what this does is it shows you how much weekly and or yearly cash flow that a property is going to generate for you. It estimates it, obviously it's not going to be 100% accurate, but it gives you a good idea of how you're going to perform throughout the year. The way the calculator works is that everything in yellow is the fields that we enter our information into, and then down the bottom it'll spit out our total cash flow before tax, and then our total cash flow after tax. So let me run through it and just show you how it works. We start with the purchase price. Let's say we're purchasing a property for $300,000. And what deposit are we going to put down? I'm only going to, oh, let's say we put down a 20% deposit on that. What are our extra closing to costs on top of that, like fees and things like that? Let's just say $1,500 and other closing costs are zero. So this will now show you your deposit here. And this will also show you how much total cash you have invested in the deal. It will also estimate your loan amount. Now, if your loan amount is different or you have a bit of extra loan, I've got an extra you know, $5,000 personal loan that I'm going to throw onto my mortgage. So we'll add that in there. What interest rate are we charging? You know, interest rates are very low at the moment. So let's just go maybe 5.35%. I think you can get even lower around 5%. What this does now, this will estimate your costs and your income. So anything in orange is a cost, anything in green is an income. So our weekly interest cost on this interest rate on this size loan will be $253.61 per week. Now this calculator only does interest. We don't have the ability to do principal and interest loan at this stage and yearly will be you know, just over $13,000. Now we can put in our rental income. Again, we're just filling in the yellow boxes. So let's say we're going to get $500 per week for this property. Good, good one. It's not quite, doesn't quite fit into Steve McKnight's 11 second rule, but it's a pretty good return on investment there. Property manager fees will put in the percentage because most of them work off a percentage. So let's say my property manager charges me 7%. Vacancy, I'm going to put in about 5% vacancy, which will be about two weeks out of the year. So that vacancy will then calculate, as you can see, an equivalent of $25 a week, or we're going to miss out on $1,300 a year. Now, depending on the area, that might be more or that might be less. Insurance, we put in a dollar amount, so let's say I'm going to pay uh, $700 a year in insurance. Repairs, we're just allocating a percentage of the weekly rent to repairs because we don't know exactly what they're going to be. So let's say I'll allocate 5% of our weekly rent to repairs throughout the year. Strata, that's a house, so I don't have strata. Water rates, um, you know, if you're paying them yourself, you can put those in which might be $500, but now most often the tenant will pay for it themselves. So I'm just going to put $0 in there. Land tax, I don't have any of that. And my council rates are you know, $2,000 per year. Oh, I think I just did $200, so $2,000 per year. All right, so now what this is showing us is our total cash flow before tax. So we can see that with this property, we'll be generating $109.47 per week in positive cash flow, or five, just over five and a half grand per year. Now, I'll just tweak this to show you, say that was a 7% interest rate. We can see here that the cash flow has gone down significantly. So low interest rates at the moment means cash flow is a lot better for investors. If that went to 8%, then we'd actually be in the rears by $16 per week. So that's a good, you can tweak things and see what effect they have on your cash flow. Let's say we're gonna have the tenant for the entire year, so we'll delete that. 
we'll now get you know, 134 dollars instead of what we were getting before which was just loading which was the hundred and nine dollars so if we didn't have any vacancies then we'd be up that twenty five dollars per week now let me just scroll down here and we're going to look at depreciation and what sort of tax you're going to pay so again we're just working our way down putting in the yellow boxes let's say I've got fixtures and fittings and I put in a couple of new things in my property and I can claim this year three thousand dollars in depreciation which is can be quite high and the percentage of tax you pay on your income so I'm currently paying 30% on my tax if you're paying 15% you put that in if you're in the higher tax bracket you know paying 45% you'd put that in yeah. but I'm just going to put in 30% and so what this will do will then calculate your tax refund um, or your tax payment so orange is a payment and green is a refund so if we have no depreciation then we can see our payment is going to be much higher because we're not getting that offset for depreciation and if our depreciation is actually higher than our total income for the property so let's say we have twenty thousand dollars in depreciation then we can see here that we're going to get um, a tax refund actually because we're getting you know 30 percent of that twenty thousand dollars back and we're only paying you know that's offsetting this five thousand dollars so we're getting a refund so I'm just going to leave that at three thousand and so what this does now is it'll calculate your total cash flow after tax so weekly we're looking at about ninety three dollars ninety three and yearly four thousand eight hundred and eighty four dollars and fifty eight cents so that's the advanced property calculator. Again, this is not meant to be 100% exact. This is meant to give you a good idea of what your property is expected to earn. And I think it's a really great tool. I use it when I'm searching for property. And when I'm more serious about it, I'll go through, okay, if I want to buy this, what's the purchase price? What's the deposit? And I can go through all of my cash flow things and I can see how's that going to affect me per month. And with current interest rates being so low, it's quite, you know, it's quite a good time for positive cash flow investors because your main expense, which is your mortgage, you know, is lower than what it would usually be. So this cash flow, this calculator is only available inside the members area. So why don't you sign up for cash flow investor members and you can get